Hey guys, um, I'm bored. I wanted to make a video. So I'm going to talk a little about something that I've kind of been researching. Um, so in my basement, it's like five or six degrees lower than the rest of the house for some reason. I don't know why. It's winter, but um, it's, it's about 67, 68 upstairs. And down here, it's like 62, 63. And I know it's not that cold. But what what I'm researching is um, this thing called it, it's Renaud's. Um, it's called uh, you know some people call it Renaud's disease. Some people call it Renaud's syndrome. Some people call it Renaud's phenomenon. Which I was actually wrong. I, I used to call it Renaud's phenomenon before, but um, I actually have Renaud's disease because I'm reading straight from this. I just looked this up. Um, but just kind of like help people out if anyone wants to know what Renaud's is. Vasospasm of the arteries, which reduces blood flow to the fingers and toes. What it, 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 it's constriction of the arteries. There are like your arteries in your hands and your toes, they get smaller, they sort of tighten up. Um, and it's what, what happens is your, your brain just kind of freaks out, it's like it's slightly cold, you know, or it happens with temperature change a lot, like you just reach into the freezer, reach into the fridge for like five seconds, it'll, it'll just happen like this where um, your your brain will tell your hand, okay, it, it'll restrict blood flow to your hands and feet because it's trying to protect your main arteries, main, you know, organs, because it thinks you're freezing to death. Um, which is stupid, but it does that, and um, and I, I constantly try to warm my hands and feet. Well, my feet aren't that bad, but my hands, I tr constantly try to warm up. But if you don't try to warm up at all, if you have Renaud's and it gets about 60 degrees and you're sitting there for like five minutes, it'll get like, you know, like your uh, tips of your fingers will get white, and sometimes in worst cases they'll get like blue, which is not good. Um, but yeah, um, most times it's in hands and feet, particularly, you know, the tips of your toes and fingers. Um, most of the time, Renaud's, the effect of, or the cause of the Renaud's is not known, and if it's not known, then you call it either primary Renaud's or Renaud's disease, um, which I should call mine, because I don't know, my mom has it too, I, I don't know why... We don't know why we have it, so it's actually Renaud's disease. Um, sometimes another disease condition or factor causes the Renaud's, and at that type of Renaud's is called Renaud's phenomenon or secondary Renaud's. Um, so I have Renaud's disease, and it very, you know, very few cases, sorry, 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 very few cases, you know, are very harmful. Um, most times, just like me, I just it, it gets kind of cold. It's just annoying. My hands are like freezing all the time. Like they're just so cold all the time. But I mean, I don't know what happens to some people. I um, oh, okay. Well, some people who have severe Renaud's can develop skin sores or gangrene from prolonged or repeated. Renaud's attack. So, um, well, that would suck. But I don't have that. But I guess some people do. Um, but most of the time that doesn't happen. It says about 5% of the US population has Renaud's, so, you know, that's just, I don't know why you wanted to know that. I don't know why you want to know that you need this at all. I'm just kind of rambling because I feel like I should make more videos. This is five minutes long, really? Okay, I'm done. See you guys. Bye.